Before you get started on your first workbook, you might want to take a minute to explore your Excel environment in detail and customize it in a way that'll work for you. For example, the ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. Did you know you can create your own tabs and your own groups to make your favorite commands more convenient? It's easy. Just right-click anywhere on the ribbon and choose Customize the Ribbon. Now click New Tab to add a new tab of your own. Your new tab appears on the list, along with a new group, which is the part of the tab that will hold your commands. You can even add commands to any of the main tabs, like the Home tab, as long as you create a new group in that tab. Now, make sure your new group is selected, then look to the list on the left for the commands you'd like to add. I want my custom tab to have a group devoted to design elements like borders, fill colors, and graphics, so I immediately see borders at the top. All you have to do is click the command, then Add. Another way to add commands is to drag and drop them from one list to the other. Now I'd like to give my tab a name, something personalized that'll help me find it on the ribbon. Just select the tab, click Rename, and enter it here. I'm going to name mine Design Shortcuts. When you're done, click OK. And here's my custom tab. Now if you find the ribbon is taking up too much space on your screen, you can minimize it by clicking the tiny arrow in the upper right corner. When the ribbon is minimized, you can make it reappear by clicking any one of the tabs, but it will disappear again when you're not using it. We're going to go ahead and expand the ribbon again, then turn our attention to the Quick Access toolbar in the upper left corner. Designed to give you access to frequently used commands, no matter where you are on the ribbon, it includes Save, Undo, and Redo by default, but can be customized to also include your favorites. I personally use New and Open a lot for creating and opening workbooks, so I'm going to click the drop-down arrow here to customize the toolbar and add those commands. Finally, if you're familiar with Excel 2007, you may have noticed that the Office button is missing. It's been replaced by the File tab. The File tab takes you to the new Backstage view where you can explore all the options related to your current workbook and more. That includes things like Print, Save and Send, and Recent Files. It's everything you would have found in the old Office or File menu, except now you have a nice full page view. For example, I like the convenience of being able to see all the workbooks I've worked on most recently, so I can pick up 